never felt like I was going to work. You know, when I got my paycheck at the end of the month, I said, they pay me for doing this. Every day that I went to work, at least for the most part, it was just a joy being there and working with the kids at Roosevelt. Seeing the students who started out in the ninth or 10th grade, total disasters, and then three and four years later, walking across the stage and receiving their high school diploma. That was the most gratifying thing that happened to me over the years. And there were many students like that. It wasn't always the student who started out the A and B student and you knew he was going to do all right or she was going to do fine. It was a student who was struggling and overcame a lot of adversity to walk across that stage and receive his or her diploma. And I guess the most exciting thing is when they either come back or they call you and they thank you for helping them uh, or they come back and let you know what they're doing uh, as a counselor, that's, that's the greatest accomplishment that I could have had. And those are the memories I have. To believe in yourself, to believe that you have some talent, some talent that can lead to success, that can lead to happiness, that can lead to fulfill fulfillment. You may not know what that talent is, but you've got to believe that it's going to come out sometime. And you've got to believe that it's the responsibility of your teachers, of your counselors, of the administrators to help you bring that out so that when you leave high school, you have some direction, you have strength, and you have belief in yourself so that you can go out and you can become successful in whatever you decide to do. You know, when I started teaching, which was in 1957, at Hollenbeck Junior High School, I can remember the department chairman, an older lady, I can't remember her name right now, but she told me something. She said, you know, Herman, for the first five years, you're not going to be earning your keep. That after five years, you'll be a teacher. And I guess the thing that <laughs> I'd like to say to new teachers, those first few years are tough. They're hard. You go home shaking your head, wondering, why, how did I ever, why did I ever get into this? But if you stick it out, the rewards are unbelievable. I'm, I'm very grateful and honored to receiving this award. And I would really like to receive it on behalf of all the former students at Roosevelt High School who came back to Roosevelt as teachers, as counselors, as administrators, and spent their careers helping the kids, helping the students at Roosevelt High School. And there were many. I wish I could name them all. Great teachers who loved Roosevelt High School.